My name is John Baptist de La Salle. I was born in the year 1651 and grew up in the city of Reims, France. What else? Let me recall. Oh, yes. I'll tell you the story of how I came to be an educator, how God led me step by step. Well, I really did not dream of becoming an educator because I remember when I was a boy, I was more inclined to become a priest and serve the church. I remember my brothers, my sisters and I were visiting our grandparents' vineyard on harvest time. Oh, I can smell the sweet grapes in the air and the lovely sound of rustling leaves. Oh, those memories. When I listen to the stories of saints and heroes that my grandma tells us, I hear someone's voice like faint rustling of the leaves. I ask her why others don't live like we do. They carry our load, but we don't carry theirs. There's something in the air my eyes don't see. Tell me when, what it could be. God sends his message to you. Up, feeling high and noble Like the saints and the heroes That came before Guided with love by my mother and father This role I play, the dream they hope I take There's something in the air my eyes don't see Tell me when What lies ahead for me God sends His message through you Raise the cup Feeling high and noble Like the saints And the heroes That came before Hallelujah God's sweet melody brings us joy Life's a wonder for a boy like me I ask myself why others are not rich like me They carry my load but I don't carry theirs There's something in the air my eyes don't see Tell me wind what lies ahead for me Following my dreams I entered the seminary in hopes of becoming a priest. Life in the mission was not always easy, but the greatest pain that I experienced was hearing the news of my mother's passing when I was not by her side. The cold wind carries gray whispers full of sadness and sorrow Just a few months after my mother died I received another letter from my grandmother telling me that my father also passed away. I finally decided to go back home and be with my family. But God's calling was strong, 
and after taking care of my family, I continued my vocation and became a priest. gentle voice leads me where I need to be. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God's sweet sound of joy. Life's a journey for a man like me. You see, my story did not end here. I had this feeling that God had something special in mind for me. An adventure, a mission. And one day, at the Sisters of the Child Jesus Convent, I met someone who would change my life. Excuse me, sir. Aren't you Father de la Salle? Yes, mister. What can I do for you? My name is Adrian Nell, and this is my young assistant, Christopher. I am a school teacher, and we have come here from Rouen. Ah, nice to meet you, Mr. Niel. And Master Christopher, what brings you here? I have here a letter for you from Madame Maillefer, and she requests your assistance. Madame Maillefer? Oh, yes, she's a distant relative of ours. Madame Maillefer is funding a charity school for the poor boys of Reims, and she wanted you to assist us with the city authorities. We plan to settle here for the moment until our business is carried out. To tell you the truth, Mr. Niel, I think it's not going to be easy. Yes, but who would turn down a favor from Father de la Salle? We know you can help us, Father John. As you can see, Adrian Niel is a zealous man, and it seemed that God made use of him so that he could get me involved in this good work. Thank you, Father John. Indeed, you are God's son to all the poor people of Reims. Thank you very much. For all the poor families of Reims, especially the children. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been this close to seeing so much poverty. Why are there so few helping the poor people? <laughs> hmm. Uh, this must be the place. Good day, Mr. Niel and Master Christopher. As we stepped over the school's threshold, I sensed that something important was going to happen. It has been more than a decade since then, and I've met a lot of dedicated men who are willing to teach poor children. Eventually, Instead of calling ourselves teachers, we preferred to be called brothers. After many years of trial and error, success and failures, here at Saint Yon in Rouen, we began all over again and opened an novitiate to form young brothers. Mr. Leo Delano. Could you please stand up and face your classmates? Mm -hmm. 
Let us recognize Leo's outstanding academic performance in history studies. The Thirty Years' War eroded the power of the Catholic Habsburg, and Imperial Habsburg forces invaded France, ravaged Champagne, and nearly threatened Paris. Our very dear father, our beloved brother Henry, is very ill. He sensed that he might not live very long, so he told us to inform you and request your presence. Respectfully and sincerely, Brother Francois. I was deeply saddened by Brother Leroux's grave condition. You see, I had high hopes for him to be our next superior. I even advised him to become a priest so that the Archbishop would allow him to head the new society. But I was wrong. This is God's will. So it will be brothers, much more than priests, who will be fully committed and able to maintain the Christian schools. A brother must lead our community, and only brothers will be our community. by myself. Lord, help us to see death as the beginning of new life, the end of poverty and the beginning of riches, the end of frustration and the beginning of fulfillment, the end of fear in the beginning of tranquility. And let not grief overwhelm us, or a sense of loss embitter us, of our sadness, and let there arise a new joy for all that has been given to us. We will lift up to you our grief and sorrow. During my struggle, a chilling memory, cold as ice, flashed before my eyes. I was being abandoned by my fellow teachers. It was hard work, and there was little to eat. It was just too much for them. Please, don't give up. God will take care of us. Please, Lord, don't leave me. I can't give up now. May your peace be with us also, both now and in the future. Let the example of his life inspire us in spending our lives fulfilling your mission. Cast out all fears, and let not your hearts be troubled. Let your spirit of peace come upon you. you 
with the life that you live and the way that you made use of your blessings. Lord God, grant that we may never forget that the life is short and uncertain. Let your spirit guide us in holiness, justice, and service to our brothers and sisters. Let your spirit guide us in holiness, justice, and service to our brothers and sisters. We pray for the healing of all the sad feelings Brother Henry's death now gives. My dear Brother Henry, you were not doubtful of our mission. Everyone seemed to hesitate in committing themselves to this mission. You are indeed a good man, a true disciple of Jesus and a son of God. Be with us, Lord, during our moments of sorrow. Coming. It's Raggedy Boy. <laughs> what is it? Oh. Sometimes I get reminded of the sad reality of ridicule, the laughter we had heard when we first dressed in our distinctive clothes. It gave us an identity. It united us as a community of brothers. Sir. Now, now, children, settle down. So, boy one has four apples, and boy two has two more. How many apples do they have to I'm bored of all this Three, writing eight, one, two, two. and reading all these numbers. Oh my head! Won't it be fun to be out there playing? Out there where mischief goes instead! Boys, where are you going? Faster, Albert! Father, the boys. I know, Brother Percival. I'll take care of this. Hey, Bernard! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going, Bernard? What are you doing here, boys? Please return to your class immediately. Only only got caught today. All right, there you go. I 
remember a time when I gave up my wealth. I spent my last reserves to buy baskets of bread to feed the starving children and families of the area. <laughs> Are you ready? Anga! What happened here? Are you hurt, Bernard? He pushed me! He pushed me down the stairs! Punish him! Punish him! Look at what you've done, Albert. Poor Albert. I could see in his eyes that he was innocent. This was almost like the time when I was accused by the writing masters of stealing their livelihood. Wait, Albert! <laughs> Albert, wait! <laughs> Your evil son almost killed my precious boy! It's not his fault! I know my son! He wouldn't do such a thing! Stop accusing him! He did not do it! Barbarians! Father de la Salle, I want you to expel that boy from this school immediately! He doesn't belong here! He belongs in the fire! Dear parents, Remember that we are in God's holy presence. Can we discuss the matter in a more peaceful manner? Very well. I'll say it peacefully. Get rid of this boy. We don't want to expel anyone here. We are here for every child. And above all, we don't correct the behavior of students by just getting rid of them. I demand that you expel that little barbarian, or I shall report this to the authorities, Father de la Salle. Enough, enough. My boy doesn't need this. You rich people are the barbarians. Father de la Salle, I remind you, keep the poor in their place. What shall we do, Father John? We have to explain to them that what they demand is against the gospel principle on which Christian schools are founded. What if they insist and the school closes down? Have faith in God's will, my brothers. We must lead them to become free from the thoughts and feelings that enslave them. Sometimes it's hard to discern God's will, Father. Yes, it is, but it's still God's will. At that moment, a very sharp pain came down my legs. This aching pain would haunt me for the rest of my life. It was just one of the small crosses that I was asked to endure. But I had a good example to follow. Told the lie like I did before, but this one. Has
has gone way too far to blame someone for a wrongful thing. You shouldn't go there. I lost a dear friend and it breaks my heart. Dear God, what have I done? strength to tell the truth and I hope I never have to cry again dear God what shall I do I've been a fool to offend you lead me to my salvation and I promise Never to tell a lie again. Father John? Is there something you want to say, my child? I see that you are busy helping out your father. Fetching the water is only one of the things I do, but I miss school. Albert, mm -hmm. there is someone here who misses you at school. He came all the way out here to talk to you. Forgive me, Albert. I'm so sorry for what I did to you. I was such a spoiled child. I hope that you can forgive me. It won't happen again, Albert. I promise. Papa! Come here! I told my father and my mother the truth about what happened, and they came here with me to ask for your forgiveness too. I also asked them if they could help your parents so that you can come back to school again. Yeah. Please, forgive us for what we've said and done. We are very sorry. We'll be happy to support your son's needs in school. We would like to support your family so that your son can come back <gasps> to school. We mentioned this to Father de la Salle, and he graciously accompanied us so that we could apologize to you and your son. Oh, you hear that, son? My boy is going back to school. Go, tell Mama the good news. Can I go and help Albert? I'll race you to the farmhouse, Bernard! <laughs> in my life. My prayers go out to you for dear brother Barthelemy. He deserves to be chosen as my successor by his brothers. He has the makings of a great leader and he is truly devoted to the welfare of our society. They are ready for a new beginning. That gentle drifting leaf 
is like an angel descending from heaven, a gentle reminder from God that I'm coming near my journeys and life moves in cycles, life and death, and then new life. And so an end to this story also promises a new beginning. Faster! We're going to be late! I hope we get there on time! Hey, Faustine! Yes, Didier? I want to be a brother when I grow up, just like Brother Albert! Then I'll be like Brother Bernard! Close. Thank you, Albert. With great power comes great responsibility, Bernard. Hmm. I think I heard that somewhere before. Uh, uh, yeah. Remember the two little boys, Albert and Bernard? Well, here they are today, all grown up into fine young men. They are preparing for the next adventure of their journey as brothers. Albert who came from a poor family, courageous and resourceful, a young man who was very passionate about learning and teaching. Like the river is a popular choice nowadays. Brother Albert! Uh, we were just on our way to school, brother. But we we tripped into the river on the way there. Oliole, Oliole. Huh. It's time for work. It's time for play. Mm, I guess that's true. But class gets so boring sometimes, brother. I don't like math. I guess that may be true sometimes. But why don't we make it more interesting? Try counting this. Whoa! How'd you do that? Can you boys tell me how many times it skipped? Three, four, five, five! Five times! All right. How much more would it be if it skipped three more times? Eight! Eight! You got it! See? It's not that boring. Bernard, born from a wealthy family, humble and generous, a young man who learned to share God's good grace <laughs> to the less fortunate. <laughs> Sometimes seems like it pushes us around like wind that scatters the leaves. And when things do settle down and we find ourselves in a brand new place, the story is not over yet. Each of us is invited to notice the little things around us that call for our attention, the people that need a little help. They are often as close as our own two feet. All that God asks us to do is that we bend down and pick them up. God will do the rest. I am the vine, 
You are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. This is what I pray for, that you bear much fruit. For he has chosen both of you to do his work. Goodbye, my brothers. Remember to love the young people that you teach and bring Jesus alive in their hearts. This is the greatest miracle that you can perform. With his guidance, you cannot fail. Destiny underneath 
the sunny skies, gazing at the horizon. There's a promise of fulfillment in our journey. Across the nations and across the seas, beyond the boundaries of humanity, touching the hearts of people around the world, we come in peace to spread Saint De La Salle's legacy. So dry fields will turn green As we sow all the seeds of new learning Underneath the starry skies Gazing at the horizon Lighting up the path Of our chosen vocation Across the nations and across the seas Beyond the boundaries of humanity Touching the hearts of people around the world We come in peace to spread Saint De La Salle's legacy Across the nations and across the seas Beyond the boundaries of humanity Touching the hearts of people around the world We come in peace to spread St. De La Salle's legacy we learn together and sing together. Hallelujah. We live Jesus in our hearts in peace and harmony. I can hear the wind blow as it whispers in my ear. Let me lift you to the heavens You have nothing to fear I can see the wind blow As it brings me to believe In this never-ending journey We have much more to give Star is my guide. 